Hello, and welcome to the first edition of I Talk About Things I Love and You Better Well Listen. Everybody does hauls. I hate conforming, but that means that I'm gonna do a haul. And this is not, just so you know, something that happened on one day when I went into Manchester and was like, Bleh! with my debit card. That is not what happened. This is... I'd say a couple of months of purchases and to be honest I have been going mad. Mad I tell you. I don't know what it is. Is it the change in season? A shopaholic will make up any excuse right? This first purchase um, has just been hand washed and is therefore still wet because I have no patience and therefore I'm not going to wait for it to dry for you to see on camera. This is by a brand that I would sell my soul to own the collections of. This is the Lolita Bralette by a Love and Lemons. It's very expensive but oh my god do I love this. You can just wear this like with anything high waisted at all or you know as a bra yes if you really wanted to but it's too pretty to wear underneath clothes. The next thing is also wet. I bought a lot of things that need hand washing recently. This is also quite similar to the Full of and Lemons bralette, yes, but you know that scene in The Devil Wears Prada when she's like, oh this belt is identical. No, it's not identical, it's different. This is another lace bralette and this one's from Zara. A look at the back, it's so sexy, like there's barely any coverage at the back. There's barely any coverage ever, anywhere really, is there? I mean, I just love this little peplum. It's just so cute. This is a skirt that I bought from Motel Rocks and it's actually my first purchase I've ever made from Motel Rocks I wore this to the first England match the other day as soon as it's the colour of the FIFA World Cup it would be a sign I wore that with this and I felt fucking great you'll have seen a hell of a lot of this damn thing I bet you're sick to the back teeth of it but I'm not and it's my channel just look at my blog I don't really need to explain what this goes with because it's everything something from the vintage shops this one is something everyone should probably have they're pretty cheap they are other than being give me all your money they're also fantastic to tie around your bags they're just cute this is a sweater dress this is what it looks like it's very plain very soft. It's got a nice little detailing in the back with a little bit of a gap. Um, I haven't worn it as of yet because it's far too hot, which is miraculous over here right now. But I just, I have a grey sweater from Zara and sometimes when I just don't know what the hell pants to wear, I wish it was that tiny bit longer to cover my bum. And so this is what that is for. This is pretty exciting, I have to say. Um, I have been going a bit mental in thrift shops recently. This gilded frame with the flower print in it, I got that from a thrift shop yesterday and I'm so excited because I'm actually going to do up my room and I'm going to have it like duck egg blue and it's going to have gold like gilt mirrors and gilt like pictures like that all over. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm so excited. I get excited so easily, you probably noticed. If you can say to my face that this is not an excellent, excellent dub of the Cher from Clueless or Iggy Azalea in fancy video jacket, then you are a very, very good liar. I cannot wait to wear this and be all from LA to Tokyo. Dresses! I've told you I bought a lot. I might not be able to show you this one, it's really long and I need to shoot this because I'm really excited too but it is from Nasty Girl and it's freaking great it reminds me of uh, when Vanessa Hudgens started dressing like out of this freaking world she wore something like this with like stacked wooden heels and a fedora and I was just looking at Tumblr like so when I found this I was like yeah that's mine and I just, I worked a meadow hall and people were looking at me like, honey, this is Sheffield, not LA. And that is the exact type of reaction I like. 
Another dress I got was this knitted number from ASOS. Um, I actually wore this in my last video about backpacking. If you don't know what the hell to wear, wear this, throw a plaid shirt over the top, you're fine. Next thing is a leopard print coat! Woo! What can I say? It's just like the sweater dress, far too hot to wear this right now. I finally found one. It looks like an eighth as good as Alexa Chung's. So I had to get it. my Levi's shorts. And yes, they are too big. I finally found some that actually fit my legs, so I bought them. How great are they? This is a ring I got the other week. It's a gigantic shark tooth ring and it's from loveaj.com. I hope you like my stuff and if you don't, like, we've got a problem. Check out my blog at www.thewolfinthecity.com. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to and I will see you in another video.